It's a beautiful bacon day, Cookie Crusaders. Today we're going to use four support units and one tank and see how we do. In technicalities, a similar team you could see would be two healers, two DPS units, and a tank instead. And this can technically qualify, being that a Claire and Cream Puff or a Claire and Oyster could be considered DPS units, but the way we are setting it up is to have a lot of support, whether it be healing, shields, minions in the front, or critical boost damage, and then just some extra healing and shields in the front from one tank. I did try all five support units. Sadly, we just don't have enough power between only supports to make it work. I attempted both cotton, mint, fig, and parfait. None of them were just up to the task, but that's okay. Maybe something will change as the meta changes, but for right now, what the meta currently is, five supports just wasn't able to handle it. So, let's go ahead and run our four support team and one tank and see how we do against randoms in the PvP arena. Now, because of our setup, even though there are almonds on Eclair, uh, Eclair still has the highest base attack in our team, so Financer is going to be specifically buffing Eclair. As you can see, they're running Expresso on their side of the field, so they have an inherent advantage because of the magic candies. We have no magic candies on our team. So against a speed Eclair boosted magic candy team, we were not able to handle. We had some decent healing, but look at their damage. I mean, over 12 million just between their three major units. So we are no go against that. That's okay. That treasure is too low to properly test. Here we go, double tank team. This should be fun. So against this, yet again, they have a magic candy user, so that's probably gonna be in their benefit, but still worth it to try. They're the same rank as, as us, so it should be a fairly even fight power levels. We got our monocle activation, so we removed the debuffs. Gives us a little bit of chance to fight back. Sad thing is that both their dark account and their eclair are causing injury which is weakening our healers overall. And looks like Eclair and Finance are just the ones that are pretty much surviving every single time. Um, and they're not able to dish out enough damage to really make a huge impact. So it looks like it's not gonna work for a double tank team either. Now you're probably like saying, why are you showing me nothing but a losing team? Well, it's good to see what capabilities specific teams do and do not have. So for instance, a team like this, this is a speed team. We're probably gonna lose to Caramel's speed specifically because that's where the focus is and they do have a Claire as well. Uh, sorry, a Claire and Espresso. So that's gonna be putting some pretty heavy pressure on our team. And it's not that any of our units are specifically bad. A Claire is a great unit. Financer is a great unit. Oyster is a great unit. Pomegranate's still pretty prevalent in the meta, but at the end of the day, our overall toppings are just not handling enough to do wacky enough teams. So, this team did not win at all against any of the randoms, and that's fine, but I wanted to show that supports still are a great measure to put in your team, but they're not good enough to run on their own. So when you look at a unit and you think, wow, that's a really broken unit, it's not necessarily the unit that's broken. It's more the combination that they can be put together in. So if you put the right pieces together, you're going to get a team that does really well. For instance, if we make just a couple changes, and we keep the exact same treasures, and we go against another person, yet again, speed team, we have removed two supports, added in some pretty tanky, high damage resistance DPS units. Now, yet again, we're still taking some pretty hefty damage, but we're able to sustain a little bit better. We have more synergies going, Clotted's being pumped by Financer, especially because that's how the skill reads out. We have the monocle pushing together, and the synergy was better. We survived longer, but it still wasn't good enough. So, at the end of the day, it's specific team synergies that are going to be what's really carrying you through the arena. 
that are going to be the things that are helping you push forward. So remember when you're building a team, don't just look at the five best units in the game right now and be like, that's the team. That's what I'm putting together. That's what's going to work. Because it's probably not. Instead, what's going to be best for you is getting a team that just really works together. It really warps their abilities together. Good timing, specific protections, thinking about counters. There's quite a lot that actually goes into the team building. So hopefully this video is informative for you. It wasn't a video to show you a winning team because I've shown you probably about 12 different teams that work really well in the arena right now. And they really do synergize together. And I also want to show this to explain when I'm putting teams together. They're not just silly, but I'm really trying to find synergistic teams that really cohesively put together. Some are better than others, of course, because there are some better combinations, but that is really the bulk of what I'm putting together. And in a few days, on September 6th, when the new legendary comes out, the assassin, and the new bomber comes out too, we're going to have some pretty fun teams we're going to put together. Specifically, you know, and I'll, I'll cover that real quick. The theme that I'm thinking will work pretty well. Because of the domain that's going to happen, I'm thinking Frost Queen. And for a placeholder, I'll put Sea Fairy because uh, I'm going to put the other legendary, the Black Pearl, in place of Sea Fairy here. So we're going to run those two. I will try a team with all three legendaries as well, but I'll explain that one later. But I'm going to try Frost Queen and Black Pearl. We're going to try... Uh, cream unicorn and then we have captain caviar the new bomber and so what i'm thinking to try and run it really really strong to like get the most out of it i'll just put this and this cookie here so where affogato is i don't know if the placement will be the same but that's where i'm going to put captain caviar and i'm going to try and line that skill up because i think between the assassin legendary and between the bomber epic that is a summoner I think we're going to have a pretty powerful team right there when that does come out when I am able to put that together. That's just my initial thoughts. And the reason I'm thinking that is I have one tank in the front that summons units. I have a middle bomber that summons units too and is going to deal a lot of damage. We're going to have an assassin legendary that's going to disrupt and create a domain potentially on the enemy field. We're going to slow down the skills between Cream Unicorn and Frost Queen. So I think it's going to be a, a pretty good team. We'll see how the build comes out and works. But that's the initial thought, at least of the team that I think is going to be pretty good. We'll see if that's the case. But let me know in the comments what you think. I always love your opinions and your feedback. And I appreciate you stopping by to watch the video. And I hope it was a help for you. Have a wonderful day.